All right, everyone, so what's happening today is the last time I took my Corvette drag racing, I had the deal where, you know, I guess the clutch gets heated up really good, and the clutch pedal sticks to the floor. And I've also, ever since I bought the car, I've been having issues getting the car into first gear at a stop, and I've heard that this fabled Tickmaster cylinder will solve both of those problems. So I figure for $300, I'm going to get it in there, see what happens. So the first thing the instructions are saying to do is to remove this access panel here and inside the car there is a plastic cover covering up access to your uh, clutch pedal here. So you want to remove those two covers. That's the first thing. The next thing it says to do is to remove the retaining clip holding the master cylinder to the clutch pedal up towards the top. I'll try to get a video of that in just a moment. So this is that kick panel. It just has three little push pins in it here. So basically you just pull that down to get it out. And I got the light out by pushing in the two little tabs, pushing it down, turning it diagonal, and pulling it out this way. So there's the retaining clip that I was speaking of before on the clutch pedal. Here's your clutch pedal, just follow it up. There's the clip and you remove it, if I can get enough light up in here where you can see it. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen, of course. But um, this edge right here, basically, you just lift it up and then just kind of slide it off and out of the way. You see what I got there? And then you just slide this out that way. So yeah, your old master cylinder is disconnected from your clutch pedal at this point. The next thing to do is get underneath the car and get up in that access panel. So to get this panel out, I'm gonna use this nifty little tool here. It is a uh, interior panel removal tool, but th this works really well for stuff like this because you can kind of stick it in there, kind of work it loose. you find the little, the little tab to get it underneath. But you get the idea. Go around to each one of these, kind of work these loose here, get these, get these popped out. Once those are out, you want to get this next piece off, just like this. Kind of get all these four out, and it looks like we've got two here. There's one underneath right there. One over here. So yeah, there's a few of those. Looks like one, two, three, four on this piece, and then four on this piece to get this panel out. So I take that back. I got underneath the car, and there's actually a few bolts holding in this panel here. So remove those three bolts. This panel should come right out. So I've got out the two screws, or the three screws underneath, rather. The uh, Two plastic pieces here, the four plastic pieces here. Let's see if this thing comes out. Hey, look at that. Came right out. No problem. So, let's see if we can see our master cylinder. And actually, it's right there. If you can see one. Well, I know you can't see up in there right now, but let's see. Let's see if we can get the camera closer. You see that tube? There we go. It's that little tube sticking out, and that cylinder that's coming out of the wall right here. That's your master cylinder. So that's what we want to get out. So I read forward the directions a little bit, and it said you've got to remove this clutch pedal and add another mounting point above this one. So you've got this mounting point here with the old master cylinder was attached and I guess you've got to drill a hole, tap a hole, and install a new post where the new one will sit. So you've got to remove this clutch pedal and it looks like the easiest way to do that is to remove this spring here and it's got a bit of tension on it but if you push it forward, I have to put down the flashlight unfortunately, 
if you push it forward up into the push down position and then kind of grab this back here and push it back, it pops off pretty easily. It's not too hard to get it off. And then the no, you're gonna have to get up in here, take out these two bolts here off this little black piece. That was holding the clutch pedal sensor. That just snaps out. I apologize for the blurry picture here. But you see it's got these two clips here on the side. Push those in, slide it out of the bracket, and then take out the two bolts that hold the bra that bracket in. After removing those two bolts, you're going to take out this bolt. And that'll kind of release this part here, and it looks like you also... <laughs> I apologize for the cramped uh, conditions here, but it looks like you've got to remove that bolt as well, which is just down here below this uh, pedal sensor. So I'm going to try all that, see where we're at, and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so I got those three bolts out, and there's two more bolts hiding back there holding it in. You see those two? Kind of difficult to see there, but there's one, there's the other. Those are going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get to, but get those two out as well. And then we'll see where we're at. Okay, so the last thing I showed you guys, I was trying to get the pedal out from inside the car. Now that the instructions say to remove the master cylinder first and then get the clutch pedal from out inside the car. I didn't understand why they were saying that before, given the fact that once you disconnect these lines, it's going to start leaking fluid all over the place, making a big mess. And I wanted to try to avoid that until after I got done working on the inside of the car. But, the little push rod that goes through the firewall is right in the way of removing a couple of the bolts to get the pedal assembly out. So, unfortunately it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and remove the master cylinder first, just like the instructions say. So this actually isn't too difficult from what I understand, and I wish I could get my hand up in there and do it and have the camera up there at the same time, but given the limited space available, Unfortunately, that's just not really an option, but long story short, what you're going to do is remove that metal clip there that goes up to the reservoir, pull that hose off, and I'm going to have something in here to catch all the fluid that's going to come out because there's going to be clutch fluid all over the place as soon as I disconnect that. And then there's a quick disconnect fitting over here. It's a GM quick disconnect fitting. You disconnect that, and then I think they said you just rotate this clockwise, this whole assembly, just grab it and rotate it clockwise and then just pull it out. So I'm going to give that a shot and see what happens. So just a quick tip here guys, you see that hose fitting there on top of it? Uh, it has a little spring clip on it and there's no way in hell I was going to get a pair of pliers around that spring clip because you've got to slide it up and off the hose in order to pull the hose off with that thing uh, attached to the firewall. So I just gave it a little uh, clockwise twist and pulled it out of the firewall. I don't know how difficult it's going to be to access it now, but it's going to be easier than it was if it was on the firewall because I was just not going to get a pair of pliers around it uh, any other way. So just wanted to share that with you guys, a little quick tip, something that may make things a little easier. Okay, so another strategy change. I can't get that little clip off that hose the way it is in there. So I kind of push the master cylinder back in. And I'm going to remove this first, that quick disconnect. And you want to pull that little metal clip out. I just used um, this tool here to kind of slide it underneath because it's kind of flat on the bottom. I had to do it by feel slide that little thing underneath it and pull it out a little bit. You see it's pulled out a little bit right now. Once I pull it out the rest of the way, that's just going to open up. And I don't want to do that while trying to hold the camera, trying to hold the light, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go get some rags and stuff to catch a bunch of fluid, and I'm going to pull that out. Okay, so after getting that fitting disconnected, there's where it came disconnected. I pulled everything up a little bit. I still haven't disconnected the line for the reservoir, but there it is right there with the little metal clip. So now I can actually get a wrench, a little pair of you know needle nose pliers or something around that clip so I can get it off. That's what I'm gonna do. Get this old master cylinder out. Then I'll go back to getting that clutch pedal out of there. Still haven't done that yet.